I'm speaking with Evelyn Garcia Morales. She is a candidate for the Clark County School District Board of Trustees District C seat. Evelyn, thank you so much for meeting with us today. So for anyone who may not know, tell us a little bit about yourself and why you are running for the District C seat. You know, I know firsthand the transformative power of education. My mother who had a third grade education made me promise her that I'd find a career behind a desk. She knew that if I went to school, did well, and graduated from college, that I could afford a life out of poverty. I'm a product of CCSD. I graduated from Mojave High School and eventually um, UNLV as well. I'm the first in my family to earn a master's degree. I'm running for this position because I understand how important it is to have a p person in this board, on the board of trustees, that is ready to start on day one. My experience is combined with my education um, and the, the the mere fact that I'm also a parent of a 10 year old uh, who attends the school district um, combined those experiences, I believe, make me a strong candidate. And one of the reasons why I'm running to make our school system and school district um, more efficient and uh, successful for all students. One thing you are executive director of Fulfillment Fund Las Vegas for those who may not know this is um, it helps pr predominantly low income students first generation helps them succeed. For, uh, for higher education, college, gives them access. So how will you incorporate that experience or how do you think that experience and that position will benefit you if elected? Absolutely, I think that there are three ways that this, uh, my experience as executive director will help inform my role as a trustee. One, I, um, my work in college access really is in support of students and their families as they transition and prepare for life after high school. So I understand and I've seen firsthand how our students um, at times are leaving our school district with uh, uh, preparing to enter either the, the uh, college or workforce um, and they have to take remedial courses. Um, our students should be leaving high school prepared for the next step. And right now we're seeing a challenge, especially in our low income students or students from specific neighborhoods that they're leaving and they're having to, taxpayers are having to pay, um, you know, again, uh, for remedial courses and, and so are students out of pocket. So one, my insight and knowledge in what, what happens after students leave high school and then help taking, uh, understanding that knowledge and what it takes for them to prepare for the next step, I believe are really key factors. The other is my experience with six figure budgets. Um, CCSD budget is $4 billion. And uh, I understand what it takes to um, approve successful budgets to help us get to our vision. Uh, and that's the other thing that I bring to the table. Um, as an executive director, I um, shepherd a vision. I move um, uh, my colleagues and my team forward so that we can execute successfully the work and the mission of the Fulfillment Fund. So that's exactly what we would be doing. Uh, what I would have the chance to do as a school board trustee is work with my colleagues to move a vision forward um, to help our students um, and, and our families uh, you know, gain the, the best education possible. What motivated you? What are the issues that are really speaking to you to want to run for this seat? Right now, um, and even before really the pandemic, um, we're seeing that our students, the, the veil has been lifted. Let's just put it that way. And especially when it comes to the inequities that exist um, in our school district. District C, the district I'm running for, has the, um, is uh, the highest uh, diverse district with 60% Latino students and 20% uh, Black students. So uh, when we look at these numbers and we see that um, it also has the highest concentration of schools that, have, that are underperforming, we have a serious challenge in our hands. Um, we, we have to look at what is ailing um, our schools and our, and our system in order to ensure that our students successful and they leave high school ready to, for that next step. So before we can get to that high school and what's happening um, and assisting them in that capacity, we have to look a little bit um, towards the, 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 the beginning of the stream and determine what, what are the challenges and how do we address them. Um, when you ask me about what motivated me, what motivated me, I am one of those students. Um, I know what it's like to have and experience the challenges of an education system that um, you know, continuously uh, hurt, hurt our families, and, and they may not know that. And it's, it's not just our families who are impacted, it's our educators, our admin, it's the entire ecosystem. So um, I wanna use data, I wanna use the information that we currently have on hand to help make some really good decisions that keep students at the center of our work and help us close the achievement gaps. How do you think this election will change the dynamic 
of the school board because there are four seats up for election and three of them, including District C, will have a brand new face. Sure, there is a lot of opportunity. I see that as a, a really unique opportunity for our school district, our, our, our county altogether, the city of Las Vegas, um, to really continue to bring in energy that will help um, amplify the, 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 the skills and the, the actually the, the, the gifts that these uh, trustees, the trustee, the new trustees will bring to the table. Uh, because uh, this is the, the, the truth about the school board trustees that, that they operate, there are seven individuals, they operate a unit to move the district forward in its vision. And, um, and you know, at this moment in time, we have a really unique opportunity to uh, bring in uh, new energy and also help us uh, move our district forward. When you say bring in new energy, do you feel like there is division right now among the board? You know, I it's difficult to say um, as an outsider of the board. What I can tell is that um, um, the board ha is committed to the success of students. And I, uh, as a voice on the school board uh, representing District C, I want to continue to amplify that voice to focus on student achievement, focus on addressing the achievement gaps. There really is a, a huge need to stay focused, laser focused, especially right now when some of our students are still trying to get connected to the internet, you know, and are still trying to get connected to devices, so, or are missing. And so we, we really have to work as a unit. And I believe that the school district, uh, and it begins, I believe it really begins at the school district and the board level of, of, of trustees. If elected, and if we are continuing distance education past November, what are your thoughts and feelings on it? And what would you want to see happen if elected? Yeah. You know, the, the vision and what I keep hearing, <clears throat> not just here in Las Vegas, but across the, 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 the nation is that the health and safety of our community has to be a top priority. And what that means for me is when I look at the COVID cases and the COVID numbers, I also look at um, here in Clark County specifically, what, what those numbers mean for our students. When we get ready to return to um, a, a campus, or being back on campus, we have to do it in a safe manner, in a way that protects staff and students, and in a way that we, we also have very clear protocols in place that have been proven and tested to make sure that, again, the health and safety of our families come first. There is no doubt that we have to find a way to um, we assess what our needs are and what our community's needs are so that we can go back to uh, school in a way that helps our students and our educators maximize their education. All right, is there anything else you'd like to add just about running for District C and what you want to do and change if elected? Absolutely, you know, there's a lot, there's a lot, but I, I can tell you one thing that I want to look at my 10 year old in the eye and tell him that I did everything possible to make our uh, education a priority in our community. And as school board trustee for District C and representing the students and families, educators and staff who, um, who serve in District C, uh, I promise to be a champion uh, to uplift our community through education, to focus on my values dedicated to uh, hope and unity, ensuring that we use existing data sources and or identified new data sources to make informed decisions that will help um, close the equity and achievement gap that exists primarily in District C, really across the entire school district. All right, anything else? Not at this time, I'm so grateful for your time. Thank you.